name is Davis, Team Kodiak Custom, coming at you live. We've got a couple different flashing light models that we're using right now. This one is a uh, one swivel on the top of the eye. This one's just a little spoon-like deal. It's got a hole on the top. You can put a split ring and a, a, a hook on here, and you can actually turn that into a little fishing lure itself, or you could use it as a flasher. Anyway, we're going to show you a couple different ways that we rig these. And you can get these at, on our website or from some of our dealers that carry carry our Kodiak custom ice fishing gear. So right now, we're going to go with the green. This green's killer for lake trout and burbot. Our lead heads, uh, the hook is, the eye of the hook is about halfway down on our lead head. So you can tune these. When you poke that up into our tube, it's going to fish like that if you don't add anything to it. And then it'll kind of just flip, flip and flutter around, look like a real fish sitting in the water column that way. But first, we're going to add our one eye flashing light. We're going to put it right on the leader. We're running about a three foot leader. So this is just going to slide right on your leader. All right. Now when that's tied and you're fishing, it's going to sit like that in the water. And then this light's going to be blinking, flashing. And when you're jigging, if you do a sporadic jig every once in a while, this light will slide right up your line and then flop back down. But it's always going to end up right down on that tube when you're fishing it. Anyway, the lake trout hammer that. That's one way to rig it with our one swivel eye. Oh, here he comes. Oh, there's a flashing light. Oh, here comes a 42-pound head. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Look at that beast. Oh. Oh. Look at a... Another setup, this is going to be on our three-quarter ounce deluxe lead head. This has got the, the trailing, the bait loop, the wire loop on here with a slider. Now we're going to take this wire loop, so we're going to slide the slider back on the wire loop, and then we pinch this wire loop with a pair of pliers so it gets real fine like that, like it is here. And then you're going to take the same, the one eye swivel flashing light here you know poke that right through that loop right and then you open the loop up and you lasso it right around our little flashing light there and pull it down and boom now you got the light fixed right onto the bottom of the loop then we're gonna have that one fishing like that another way you could rig a flashing light on our deluxe tube jig with a trailing bait loop on it here when the slider set up again this orange is really good good on big lakers and burbot they both hammer this one we're going to slide the slider on our wire loop there slide it up into the tube and then here's our other style flasher we're going to rig this one on this setup here so we're just going to poke the light the wire right through the light Sometimes you got to pinch that down to get it to work. Okay, then you hold that loop Some areas you can use a trailer hook. So it all depends on what the laws are your local laws, but If you want to tie a fly or anything you can rig up all sorts You just have a bear hook on there and you just poke poke the eye Of the hook right through this the wire through the eye of the hook on our loop And then the same deal you just lasso it around it there. Okay, so now you grab the fly, pull that sucker tight. Now, same deal here. You got tube jig, flashing light, right on the trailer loop wire, and then on the bait loop here, and then you got the stinger hook. So that's another way to rig it. And for my final act, we're going to show you another new top secret cool thing. Five and a half inch trolling spoons and we're jigging them and hammering lake trout on them. Green's a really good color. Our melon is also a really good color and gold. Actually, they're all pretty good colors for this type of fishing. But anyway, and you can rig either one of our different flash and light models on these spoons. I like to flip the blade up and put the flash and light between the blade and the hook on the split ring. So. And then you're just going to put that guy right on there. So that's how we're going to fish this guy. With a combination of that, the gear we're using, and my brand new lucky fishing hat, we're going to go hammer some fish. So anyway, we'll go show you how some of this stuff works. Very smart. Oh, oh crap. Look at him take the line, dude. Holy crap. Oh. Oh my gosh! I got you. Oh my god! I got you. Look at that. Oh, there. oh my god! I can't even pick it up! <laughs> Woo! Oh my god. Yeah.